One of the common things you would normally do when you start a new web project is to reset or normalize your CSS. So there is a uniform starting position among browsers. This is a perfect example of using global CSS without worrying about scoping. If you open your Next.js app, then you can notice just out of this public folder, here you have the style directory. Inside that, you have two files, global CSS and home.module.css file. Inside this global CSS, you have all the global styling of your application. If you're not worrying about CSS scoping, then you can specify all your styling inside the global.css file. Global style can only be imported in the app component. If you open the pages and this app.js, here you can notice you have the import statement and Next.js import the global file inside the main app component. And keep in mind, you can only import the global CSS inside this app component. And this is directly logical because this style will apply to all the pages and components in your application. The reason that global CSS can't be imported outside of this my app component is that the global CSS is affect all the elements on the page. My app component is the starting point of the Next.js app. Later in this course, we'll learn more about this my app component. In the global styling, if you open the global.css, here you can notice we have a different global styling here. Now, let's suppose that you want to specify font family to all your application text. To do that, you can just simply copy and paste the import link of Google font inside your global CSS. Something like this. I'm going to copy this link from the Google font website. And then just down here, I can simply select all the components and all the descendant components. And then I'm going to specify font family pop-ins and then specify the fallback value. So this statement is going to specify this font family to all my text. Let me save this. And now if I open my application, you can notice I'm going to have this pop-in font to all my application text. Now we are not limited to only create a .css file inside Next.js. Next.js also allow styling with sas file, with .sas or with .scss file. But if you are using sas inside Next.js, make sure you first install sas in the project. So you have to first open your terminal, open a new terminal, enter into your project directory. So you have to say here cd next app and then you have to specify a command called npm i for install and then specify sas. This is going to install sas in your Next.js application. Now once you have sas installed, you can use sas in this project. Let me show you. If I open this style folder and inside this, let me create a folder with the name sas. And inside this, let me create a new file, style.scss. Now there are two different ways you can create SAS file with SAS, SAS extension, and with SCSS. With SAS, you will create CSS with indention. And with .css, you will create SAS with CSS-like syntax. So I'm going to create here .scss file. And inside this, let me style my component this one i'm going to style this h1 heading tag so let me first specify here a title i'm going to specify class name here title save this back to the style sheet here i'm going to specify h1 dot title and let me specify font size to it which is 29 pixel and i'm going to specify color as well color is going to be the hex value i'm going to specify color here like this save these changes back to the first post at the top right here to use this styling you have to import this file so you have to say here import styles from and then specify the style sheet so we specify double dot forward slash then specify double dot again then specify forward slash specify styles and then inside that you have sas folder and inside that you have style dot scss so you specify that extension as well now let me save the changes back to my application and as you know we specify styling to the first post so we first head on to the post folder and then open the first post component so when i press enter this is going to open my first post component but you can notice i'm going to have an error message here if i click on inspect and if i inspect in the console i'm going to have an error message here global css cannot be imported from files other than the custom app component 
As you notice here, Next.js consider this styling as global CSS. So Next.js only allows us to import this styling inside the app component. So then how we can style the specific component? Next.js provide a very important and easy CSS module to style Next.js component. CSS module is a component level CSS that comes built in with Next and can be activated by naming the style file with the dot module dot CSS extension or you can say dot module dot SCSS extension. You just have to specify dot module and the file extension. Let's take the same example. Instead of creating the file called style.scss, we rename this file and we add here a dot and then specify here module. And then I'm going to leave the extension as it is. So now the file name is style.module.scss. That's it. Now I press enter. Now this is going to create component level CSS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything. Now I specify sales folder and inside that I have style module dot s css now let me save the changes open my browser now you can see i don't have any effect to this h1 heading tag this is because if you want to use this styling to your component you have to specify the, the next js styling syntax so instead of just specifying this title you have to call here this object and the title class name so instead of this title here inside this curly braces you specify styles this object and then specify here a bracket and inside that bracket you specify the class name which is the title back to the application and reload it you can see i'm gonna have my color to my h1 heading tag so now the styling is successfully applied to my component now, instead of doing this there is one more simple way to, to specify this class to the, this h1 heading tag you can just simply get rid of this bracket and then specify here dot and then specify the class name which is title that's it and you will get the same result so now we successfully specify the css module to the component now you're not limited to only create these css files inside this css folder if you want you can create this style shade this scss or css file inside this post as well inside this post folder now there is one more way to use css inside next.js application like global CSS and CSS module, StyleJSX works with Next.js without any extra setup required. StyleJSX is also a component-based CSS. We use the internal mode of StyleJSX here by passing the JSX props to the style component. For example, let's suppose that we want to style this H1. We simply specify here a component called style like this. And then to this style, we specify here jsx something like this and inside this we specify curly braces and inside this curly braces we use backtick something like this and then we specify style to the component so for example if i specify here styling title this is a class name and then i'm going to copy this specify that right here something like this let me just increase this font size and now if you want to apply this class to your element instead of this style title you simply specify here in the single quote or in the double quote title. When I back to the browser and reload it, I'm going to have my result, what I want. So you can see the style JSX is also used for component level styling. I'm going to recommend you to use CSS module to style your component instead of using this style JSX. You can just simply pass your curly braces and specify style dot title. Now, if you can take a look at the HTML in the browser, if I open here elements, open the body, inside this div right here we have this h1 heading tag you can notice here we specify the class name title to this h1 heading tag but in the elements we get style title underscore and the unique value this is what the css module does it automatically generate unique class names as long as you use css modules you don't have to worry about the class name collisions so every class name you use with css module will automatically rename and have the unique class name. Next.js code splitting feature works on CSS modules as well. It ensures the minimal amount of CSS is loaded for each page. This results in a small bundle size. CSS modules are extracted from the JavaScript bundle at build time and generate .css files that are loaded automatically by Next.js.
You can use any style according to your need. We'll learn more about CSS later in this course.